Welcome to another episode of Ape Answers, the ham radio show where we answer your questions. Today's question was about buying Chinese radios. Let's take a look. So Gerald Scott, 4302, asks, Why even bother with CCP radios? I doubt you will find any problems with Yesu, Kenwood, or ICOM radio. I think he wants an S on that. Even if it was made in China, it's the Chinese CCP brands you need to watch out for. And I said, generally speaking, yes. Now, there's a couple of things I did want to mention here. We're going to take a look at some radios from the big three. When we say the big three, we're talking about Yesu, Kenwood, and ICOM that are made in China. And even the ones that are not are likely assembled somewhere else with components and parts that were actually made in China. Now, that doesn't make them bad. That just makes them Chinese origin. And he says something that is a nice distinction. So the location of the manufacturing isn't always the problem. Sometimes it's actually the brand that you need to watch out for. And what we've seen is Chinese brands that actually buy radios in bulk from other manufacturers. And the Chinese brands have actually, I've spoken to many of them, have told me that they don't even have the ability to test the radios to see if they meet certain specific standards that are required by the FCC. They'll also do things like put stickers with fake FCC IDs on the radios, and they'll act like the radios are fit for purpose or fit for use, meaning that they are actually capable of being used legally in the United States where that's not the case. And it's kind of shady and it's kind of greasy. And what they do is, is they mass market by sending these radios out free of charge to YouTube reviewers and ask them to do reviews on these radios. Many of the reviewers take them out of the box, turn them on, tell you that they're great, and then give you a link for an affiliate purchase where they get a certain percentage. Some will like to actually do testing on these radios and give you an honest opinion, but it's really a case of buyer beware. So here's a radio that is made in China by a Chinese brand called Zygu. Some people like to say Zhegu to show how important they are because they've mastered the art of pronunciation. But anyhow, this is the G90. It's about $400. It's an affordable HF radio that's pretty good for beginners getting into the hobby to get their feet wet and decide if amateur radio is for them or not. It's actually gotten to be quite a popular radio because it packs quite a punch. This radio is not representative of everything that Zygu produces. For example, they'll put radios out that don't work well, are riddled with bugs, and need constant firmware updates in order to work correctly. And it's a little bit of a problem because they don't do the due diligence in engineering and QA to make sure that the radio is fit for sale. And then what you get is an amateur radio operator who's new to the hobby, who has a radio that they may know or not know works correctly, and then they have to do all these firmware updates, which may or may not be something that they're used to. But this radio is pretty good, so I got to hand it to Zygo on this one. So here's a radio, a B-Tech, and it is a DMR6X2. And it's sold by a company called Balfangtech.com. And it's actually made by Anytone in China. And then B-Tech just rebadged or relabeled or rebranded this radio. I have one of these and it's one of my favorite HTs. I like it quite a bit. It's super easy to program. It's very durable. I think it does up to 6 watts, maybe 7 watts. I can't remember exactly. And uh, it's got fantastic, fabulous battery life. Really, really like this radio. But it doesn't have the best front end in the world. But it's not bad. It's quite serviceable. And I got it for an affordable price of around $200, which is pretty good for a higher end. And eh, let's actually call it a mid-tiered HT handheld ham radio. But it's a good one. And they did a good job. And it was made in China. Here's a picture that I pulled off the internet. It says, I just got my new FTM 300 DE. And folk, what a disappointment made in China. I was in the mood to send it back to my dealer. Now, I don't really think this is fair to send the radio back just because it was made in China. The FTM 300 is a pretty nice radio. It's a pretty popular radio, and it is made in China. And you can see it's a Yesu, and then it says Yesu Musin Co. LTD. But just because it's made in China doesn't make it bad. This radio is going to be clean. It's going to have a good front end, and then they have a company behind it that backs it up. So I don't really understand that sentiment. Here's another Yesu radio. It's an FT4XR, and you can see on the label, let's see if I can get a mouse down here, right here, it's going to say made in China, and it is made in China, but again, I don't think that that makes it bad. This is a pretty nice radio, and I would take this any day over most of the 
let's call them crap radios that you see getting advertised, marketed, reviewed, and unboxed on YouTube. These are pretty nice and they're well worth the money. So here's a radio that was considered the pinnacle of HT technology, the Kenwood THD74A. The 75 has just come out, and I guess that replaces it as the king of HT radios. Now, I get that that's an opinion, and people are going to want to argue about it in the comments, so go ahead and have at it. But this is a tri-band radio that has fantastic APRS capabilities and is highly regarded. Uh, when you take a look at the label here, we can see that it says made in Malaysia. So it's not China, it's not Japan, but again, it's just a country of origin. If you have a good brand and a good company backing up your radio, you're probably okay with it. And that being said, there are some good Chinese radios. We just took a look at the BTEC. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out are how some of these manufacturers and brands work. When you buy a radio, say, from Quanchang, it's not made by Quanchang. When you buy a radio from Radtel, it's not made by Radtel. Same thing with Juk Tech and Wu Rear. I don't know how to say all that stuff, but I'm okay with my pronunciation. Anyhow, again, what I wanted to do is I kind of want to further the point that you have these large manufacturers in China who make these radios. Sometimes they'll personalize them a little bit for a specific label. But what they do is they send bulk shipments of these radios out to these companies who put a sticker on them. And they say, hey, this is our new radio that we've released. Well, it's not really theirs. They're kind of reselling it. And again, a lot of cases, these folks don't have the QA capability to validate that this thing's going to perform the way that you, the consumer, expect. And then we also talked about some shady tactics that they do with like fake FCC IDs and such. Anyhow, it's always a case of buyer beware. Make sure that you're watching and reading reviews from respected reviewers, and then you're buying equipment from companies that are reputable. Anyhow, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. As always, thanks for watching.